Hey, you guys. Today, something really basic, and welcome to, at the time of this recording, January 3rd. I'm not sure what day it is when you're watching it, but whatever day it is, I hope you're surrounded by people that love you and that you are very, very happy and have plenty of good food to eat. It is sure cold outside. I am digging it. It makes me feel alive. What's today about? Organization. And this is going to be good for every level membership. And some of you are going to think, dude, it's not kindergarten. And I'm going to say, dude, yeah, it is. Because... I want to get you flying jets really quick, but first we need to get you flying the little stuff. And I'm going to show you how to fly jets, and once you do that, you're going to find out there's a whole bunch of stuff to do. And because of that, I want you to get a good, firm foundation, and I want you to at least consider uh, one of the things that I do, which is I start out very organized. So if you look at my desktop, you will see... Oh my goodness, Florida Gun Teach, Daily Emotion, My Wealth Folder, uh, you, need, you need your own wealth folder. That will be your ideas, and that's going to be another episode. So this episode, you'll see I have businesses out on here, podcasts, that's the one we're looking at right now, All Things Video, that's in my video projects, videos to watch, that is things that I've found. It, classes, instruction, motivation that I put here and can refer to. So desktop, think of it as a filing cabinet and where a lot of people will get emails and websites and they just, I have an email in my box right now and I've read this up you find it says, Paul, because you sell so much stuff, I don't know what this payment's for. My response to that is because I sell so much stuff, you don't know what business you've invested in and committed in and carefully thought about before you spent your money and now you're working it every day. Yeah, yeah, no. So ridiculous stuff like that shows me that people are not, um, often are not committed 100,000% to their business. Uh, nor are they doing the things that it takes to be successful in business. I think perhaps you are, you're watching this. I hope you're one of those wonderful people. So let's say that I get an email and I'm going to open up a notepad real quick. And I'm going to show you notepads and folders. And many of you know this, but many of you aren't doing this. And maybe today, aha moment will hit you and you will. So let's say I have an email that says, Paul. Somebody wrote me an email that says, here is your important thing. Sign big time. Okay. So let's say I get this and that's my link and uh, I don't want to go searching for my email every time, open email, etc. And plus that keeps me from my email and noticing something else to go look at and read instead of doing my work. So I will cut and paste this. Let's pretend, copy, that um, that's an email, and I just cut and pasted it by holding down the Control key and the C key or right-clicking on my mouse and clicking on Copy. And I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to paste it in with Control and V or right button on the mouse and Control and Paste. There's my email. File. Save as. And we're going to call this the important thing email. And that's how I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. Save. All right. And here it is. Now, if I have an important thing, now obviously I'm not calling it an important thing. It would be whatever that important thing was, right? So I'm going to right click on my desktop click new and I'm going to set up my filing cabinet now and I will call this important thing and I will start putting all my important thing materials in that folder and then I can keep my folder right here on my desktop and anytime I need anything I just go to the important thing filing cabinet double click on it and look at my contents now let me show you real life proof of this. Let's look at Bitcoin, for example. And you will see I have, uh, let's see, financial docs, info sites. Now this needs cleaned up. I need to get my paperwork. Now let me show you what that is. 
that is this stack right here, okay? That's the paperwork and file folders and notes and to-dos. That's the stuff that I'm working on now, and it needs to be put away correctly and orderly so I can quickly access it. Access it, grab it, get it, work it, do it, and then put it in, back in the same place so I'll know how to find it. So these folders need to be put, all this stuff needs to be put away in the folders in my internal folder. So let me show you what I mean by that. Important thing. In my important thing, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to right click on new. And this may be the videos that I'm working on. New. I'm going to open another. This may be documents I've created, notepads, just things I've saved. So now when I go to my important thing, I will easily, systematically, rapidly be able to find all the documents that pertain, the emails, all the videos about it, or web pages, all the important things, stuff in nice, quick, to find and access folders. So you will see up here, here's the website, here's info about it, here's financial docs, here's um, stuff about the crypto thing. Now this is a little different, but see all these things that are videos? They should be up in a folder titled video. Now the difference about this is even though this is a business, it is also something, um, it's a whole thing, it's my investment and in stuff as well. So let me go open what it would be primarily like a business, and we'll do websites on TV. Oh, my goodness, what a great example. Spreadsheets, images, new contracts, new folder, notepads of stuff, schedules, testimonials, document, Tom documents or media documents, videos, web pages, and here's an HTML testimonial frame. Now that is websites on TV. Let's look at Mr. X. Oh my goodness, same thing. So I will have some stuff down here that I've recently put away, that stack of papers I just showed you, that needs to be now put in the correct folder. So we've got uh, people that have bounced, traffic, um, a dispute, Mr. X track. Wait a minute. Yeah, Mr. X traffic specific website stuff, different pages, videos, images, solo ads, etc. Now let's look at video images. And that's going to be another episode on how to do images and videos and that kind of thing. So you see, so if I need something for, I'm sitting here and I go, oh, I'm going to make a video for Mr. X, or I remember an image I really like, how do I get it? I open the Mr. X folder, I open the Mr. X image folder, I click on the image that I want, right here, and it will open, and I immediately have access to my image, whether I'm going to um, copy it. I say I immediately have access. When I'm doing a recorder, stuff takes too long. So I can now copy that. I can go insert it. I can move it. I can remember it. I can do whatever I want to with it. Whether it's an image, video, document, reference, spreadsheet, Word doc, doesn't matter. All right. So I set my businesses up. Now, here I'll show you one. Now, more desktop. This is because you don't really want more than 10 folders on your desktop. What? Why not, Paul? Because it'll slow your computer down. So try to keep it below 10. So if it's not something that you're using all the time, you don't want it in the front drawer. You don't want it where you have to see it every time. You want it where you can get to it quickly, easily. So watch what happens when I click on more desktop. These are the things that are not top drawer. You will see still how I organize things, videos to watch, a great deal of money, easy one up. These are other businesses that are, do not require my daily attention. And then below that are a lot of my docs and paperwork. Lots of folders, lots of different items that don't, these don't necessarily fit neatly into those folders. So let's look again. We'll go down another level and go Save desktop. 
Look at that. And again, there's August. So then I start labeling stuff always clear. So the fun thing, if I want something, I come down here on the right and right click and click on search. And I can do fun things like type in August desktop. And I can go find things that I want. All right, so that, my very good friends, is how to be organized. Now, in my emails, I also have folders set up in my email program to where I can put email conversations and items of interest. So if I'm talking to someone in three years, a media representative, and I said, no, our initial agreement was, and they go, no, I don't think so, and I go, August 8th, click, August 8th, 2015, here's your email to me, it reads as follows, here's our agreement, may I send that over to you? Oh, okay, that's why this is very, very good. So that's organization, and if I can get you to be set up and be very organized, because you're going to have autoresponders and splash pages, you'll probably have multiple. You may have, depending on what you do and how you grow with me, you may have uh, multiple websites. You may have just multiple splash pages for different affiliate programs that you operate. You may have lots of stuff, and you'll want to be able to get to it easily and quickly. I'm running a one-man operation where I've had in the past 14 employees, I have people buzzing around big offices, and they did stuff for me. Hey, go do this. I'm going to make coffee and get to work. I don't have that now. Now I'm like, go make a pot of coffee, go pour your coffee, bring it back into your desk, and get to work. And so I can't be scatterbrained. So I had to learn how to put things in order and get to them quickly, especially because I'm running multiple businesses, a couple of them I'm top in the world in, and a couple of my own, and new launches such as this podcast. But I can get to everything like that. Awesome, huh? I hope this helped you, and I hope you enjoyed it. And we're going to be building on this now because um, this is a type of thing that you may not think is fun, but you will realize when we get to it the, a next level that you don't go, man, I got a choke point here. This is slowing me down because I don't have this foundation, this setup, in order to operate smoothly now. And some of you do get that. Some of you don't. Um, and I can give you lots of examples and all that, but I won't because hopefully you get it. So we just want to build correctly. Okay. Um, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.